Animal Taxi Service transports rescues all over Ontario. It fulfills us, says a driver for Critter Cabs, a company that transports animals all over Ontario to shelters and sanctuaries to find their forever homes. A taxi service makes weekly stops in Cambridge, but their passengers are a bit more furry than your average Uber user. Over 3,300 volunteers are a part of Critter Cabs, an online group that has created a transportation corridor to shuttle rescue animals and wildlife all over Ontario. We are 100% volunteers, we have no funding, we have no official status of any kind, we're just a Facebook page of like-minded people," said Lori Dennis, co-founder of Critter Cabs. To stay up to date with latest top stories, make sure to subscribe to this YouTube channel by clicking the button above this video. Critter Cabs has been in operation for over seven years and has been providing a much-needed service to shelters and foster homes. We are 100% rescue-oriented, so an animal has to be coming into or out of rescue," said Dennis. We don't do anything for personal use, but we used to do vet appointments back when the lockdowns were a thing. The animal taxi service makes stops in Cambridge at least four times a week, so the animals can be passed along the network of drivers spanning several hundred kilometers. We work in 100 kilometers legs," said Dennis. It's easier on the drivers to not be on the road for too long, and gas is insanely expensive, so it helps break it up a bit. The Cambridge Humane Society has been using critter cabs for just over three years and relies on their service to transport rescues to other humane societies throughout the province. They're amazing, said Michelle Da Silva, animal care supervisor for CHS. They single-handedly organize these large, large transports, they are critical in what we do every day here. Da Silva said some animals they take in at the Cambridge facility have needs or health conditions that can be better treated at other animal shelters. Critter cabs play a pivotal role in allowing these animals to get the treatment they need. I'm actually kind of surprised that they're this extensive. They're driving animals like hours and hours away, so that's actually pretty amazing, said Da Silva. They transport everything from cats and dogs to potbelly pigs and raccoons. They have taken a ferret from Cambridge all the way to Ottawa, a beagle from Whitby to Manitoba, and pigs from Montreal to a sanctuary near Windsor. The drivers get a chance to do meaningful work and help save the lives of these animals. Glenda Patterson is one of the drivers for Critter Cabs, and she looks forward to every run she can do. It fulfills us, said Patterson. I love animals so much and wanted to do something to help out and boy as it needed. Patterson was driving from London to Cambridge to meet with another driver Cherry Wilkin. They are a part of the rely taking several cats and kittens to the next stop in Mississauga. The animals know they're being rescued and it's the most amazing thing, said Wilkin. I wish I could take them all home and keep them forever, but I have them in my car for an hour and I get my kicks out of it. Dennis said her volunteers are people who want to help with animals but either can't commit to running a foster care or are looking for a low-commitment way to contribute to the community. She operates Critter Cabs along with five other coordinators who all do this as after their normal full-time jobs. We work about 40 hours a week after our normal jobs, so we're basically working two jobs, said Dennis. In a year, Critter Cabs will transport around 2,500 animals and would do more if they had more volunteers. There is never a shortage of animals that need rides to other cities, provinces and humane societies," said Dennis.